Right now we are going to review this NASB, let me get it out, this NASB Prime Edition from Lockman Foundation, which they sent me, grateful that they sent it to me. We're going to review this Bible right now. This NASB 2020 Prime Reference Edition is fighting for the top spot among my preaching and teaching Bibles. So let me share with you the top things that I love about it, the pros, and then I'll share with you the cons, and then we'll go look inside the Bible. Actually, we're going to go look outside and inside the Bible. So the number one thing that I love about this edition is the paper. The paper is 33 GSM, so it's really opaque. I've been using this Bible since June 11th, preaching from it, teaching from it, reading from it, and I can tell you without any pretense or exaggeration, the paper is fantastic, really opaque. It is not stark white, it's off-white, it's a little bit creamy, and I love that. I think it looks really good. Now some people on social media have said that the paper resembles newsprint, and I would sort of agree with it. I think it looks like a newsprint uh, at first look, but as you use it, you can see just really how premium it is. It, it's really nice paper. The second thing I love about this Bible is the verse numbers. This edition is paragraph format, but man, the verse numbers are really bold, which makes it really easy to find your place as you preach and teach from it. And the third thing that I really love about this Bible is the handy size size of the Bible. Uh, the text block is about eight and a half by five and a half, and that to me is the perfect size. I love it that I can hold it in hand. Let me just show you. It's really easy to hold with one hand, and I love that. And the fourth thing that I love, which is I'm sort of on the fence about, is the goat skin. So this is goat skin, but it, it's not as floppy as the other goat skin Bibles that I have. So when you hold it, or when I hold it in hand, it doesn't flop around. So this is really great for standing in front of people and preaching and holding with one hand. Now, let me give you the cons of this Bible. The first con that I have against this Bible is the design. It does look a little bit antiquated, but I think I can live with it. Now, I thought the design and the typesetting of this Bible was done by 2K Denmark. I was wrong. The only prime edition from Lachman that is designed by 2K Denmark is the large print ultra thin. And another thing that I don't like about this Bible is actually what I like about this Bible. I like the goat skin. I like the binding of this Bible because it doesn't flop around, but I don't like it because it's not soft. This feels kind of cardboardish, and the grain of the goat skin is not the best. It feels actually a little bit cheap, but I can live with it. I just wished it wasn't as stiff or, I don't know, cheap feeling. Okay, now let's give you a tour of this Bible. This Bible comes in a really nice box. It is a two-piece box, really sturdy, like you could hit somebody over the head with this thing and bludgeon them. I wouldn't recommend that. Like I said earlier, the trim size of the Bible is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and the thickness is one and a quarter inches. So this is a nice, handy-sized Bible. Mine is the premium brown goatskin, and like I said earlier, it's not floppy soft. It's a little bit, it's a little bit stiff, but it looks great, and it smells okay. It just doesn't feel very premium. This has five spine hubs, perimeter stitching. This also has a smite sewn binding for durability, which makes it an excellent EDC everyday carry Bible. This has two double-sided satin ribbons, a brown one and a black one. Why not a third? These Prime Editions only have two ribbons. Why not add a third? This also has an edge line construction for durability. And this has a beautiful gold gilt line all around the edges. I think they did an excellent job with how it frames the text block. This also has red under gold art gilded pages. This is where I think Lockman can do some quality control. Not great, there's some scratches on the edges. What you gonna do? 
Now, a great thing about this Bible is it's made in Korea and not in China. I don't know if that matters to you, but this is Korean printed. And a lot of the Bibles that come out of Korea that are printed in Korea uh, normally have excellent quality, and this is no different. This also is line matched. And this is another thing that I love about this. This has a 9.5 font size. Again, bold verse numbers, which makes it really easy to preach from. And then let me share with you the obvious. This has a double column text with cross references at the bottom of the page and its paragraph format. So this makes for an excellent reading Bible. This is a black letter text, which means the words of Jesus are gonna be in black. The next book of the Bible starts on its own page. Love that too. Now you can see from the sides, there's not much margin space. I wish it had more margin space. Now in the back of the Bible, you get these. You get book intros for each book of the Bible. A one year reading plan, I love that. The parables of Jesus the miracles of Jesus, and then eight color maps on cardstock. Not very glossy, it's well done. Well, that's it folks. Thank you for watching this video and this review. And a big special thank you to the Lachman Foundation for sending me a review copy of their Prime Reference Edition. Have a good one.